Hey, this is Ruben Bermudez here in Wilton Manors in Fort Lauderdale. Um, December 1st, 2008, today is World AIDS Day and we're waiting for the vigil and march um, for HIV and AIDS awareness coming down on Wilton Drive. that provides services uh, to many. They do amazing work with limited funds and resources. Uh, it, it's impressive, uh, their passion, their commitment, and day to day they do their part to fight this epidemic. And we can do our parts also by being tested. Each of us should be tested for HIV regularly. I encourage you to be tested. I encourage you to encourage others to be tested, your family, your friends, your loved ones. 
because access to care begins with testing. Early care and when necessary, daily drug therapy prolongs lives. Uh, medications need to be taken every day, but too often finances are a barrier to adherence. If you earn under $41,500 per year, you may be eligible for programs uh, that are offered by uh, or with Ryan White funding. If you have insurance and your copays are too expensive for you to take your medications regularly, there's a copay assistance program. If you're underinsured, if you're maxed out on your benefits, if you're in the donut hole, Medicare Part D, you may be eligible for ADAP or an ADAP waiver through the health department. If you're about to lose your job or your insurance, you may be eligible for AICP, AIDS Insurance Continuation Program that will pay your insurance premiums so you can continue to have coverage. And there are many more programs one can be eligible for. Walgreens is committed to fighting the fight against AIDS with over 100 pharmacies in Broward County, uh, many in highly impacted areas, and we're very proud to be part of the HIV service community. Thank you to tonight's organizers, and it's, it's great to see all of you here. Take care and be well. Uh, think of what they meant in our own lives, and I personally have lost many, many friends to AIDS, and it's a devastating disease. We're also here, of course, to honor those and to, and to thank those who are living um, with AIDS and with HIV and, and doing such a uh, strong job for as role models in the community or uh, having difficulties struggling with this disease. And finally, we're here to discuss uh, and, and bring attention to this disease so that we can prevent its spread and do what we can to try and stop this awful disease from taking more lives and claiming more people in, um, in our community. Um, to that end, the message I want to give out tonight is, is the same message that we heard from uh, the representative of the Walgreens, is that it's very, very important for folks to get tested. Uh, once you're tested, there's, there's things you can do, there's treatments, and uh, you can be part of the prevention and part of the cure as opposed to part of the problem. So we definitely want to encourage people to, become, to, to be tested to speak to their families and their friends about getting tested. And we have to end the stigma about this disease. We have to start treating HIV and AIDS as, as a heart disease or any other disease that we normally treat and, and deal with on a community level. Uh, so to that end, if there's anything that I, as a mayor of this city or other elected officials here from cities can do to help uh, the AIDS, HIV community and to do uh, something to stop the spread of this disease, please let us know because this is a big problem for our community and we need to do what we can to stop it. This evening, we remember not only those we've lost, but all who are infected and affected by HIV and AIDS. And in truth, that excludes no one. We are all impacted. Therefore, we all in solidarity need to support the individuals, officials, levels of government, various agencies, and private businesses that bring comfort, relief, and help to those living with HIV AIDS. I'm so grateful that here in Wilton Manors we have organizations such as Broward House that do just that. Tonight in honor of those no longer with us, whose memories burn bright within our hearts, for those here among us and for our own future of our community, prevention, education, and exhausting all efforts in finding a cure must never be abandoned. Thank you. Two men who I really need to thank for opening up their parking lot, putting up this tent. Anything you ask them to do, they are there, 100%. That is Jackson Padgett, Mark Negretti of Georgie's Alibi. Guys, I don't know what the city be, would be without you guys. You are there for everything, for anybody. Jackson comes to me as I'm walking up to him and says yes. And I said, but I haven't asked you. And he said, the answer to your email is yes. I said, I haven't written it. He said yes. I mean, you are incredible people, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'd now like to introduce Gary Keating and the Lambda Corral, who will do a selection for you. Here we are again at yet another World AIDS Day. 
Um, the crowd, going on 20 years old, has been involved in these events for a long, long time. And it's one of the things that we do because it's important to us and it's important to our community. The song we're going to share with you tonight, um, I think, has wonderful meaning. Seasons come and seasons go, but the love we leave behind always reminds us of a song. And for us, that those are important words. And I think about these days having been a fundraiser for an AIDS organization and teaching AIDS education in high school over the years. And I think about all those that have come before us and they are not with us any longer. But I can't be totally sad because my life would be have been greatly diminished if I had not known them. So as we sing, all of those wonderful memories and those great faces and those wonderful smiles, they really lift my heart. This is the Land of Crow. It's a shame that we have to do an event like this still 25 years after, but I'm glad that the community can come out and that we can uh, commemorate folks uh, with AIDS and HIV. Did you lose anyone close to you? My best friend Bill Landers died in 1991, and uh, to this day I think you know how much better the world would be if he were still around. He was just a terrific guy, and he meant the world to me. Steve and I had a, a dear friend that I had for many years uh, since childhood who I lost to AIDS. Was there anything special about them that keeps them in your memory? Well, they were just, they grew up with me and they just always were very special to me and uh, not somebody I would have expected and it just, they will always just be with me as a dear friend. Okay. Thank you for participating in the AIDS Awareness Day. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Well, but one thing that we always try here is in the community and, and also locally within our businesses between here and Bills is, is to help people become aware of, of the dangers out there and, and what they can do to protect themselves and to also give them hope. And, and should they find that they have been diagnosed with HIV, it is not a death sentence as it used to be. And, and we're very lucky in this generation where people back in the 80s we're not. It, it, it was such an unknown situation. And I hope that every gay man and, and, and lesbian and straight man and, and, and young child pays attention to the dangers that are out there. It's just like any other sexually transmitted disease. Be very careful, protect yourself, but be aware, be knowledgeable, and test yourself and make sure that you have the opportunity to catch it early and survive it well. Thank you. Our most important job as club owners for both Bill's and uh, George's alibi is being that place where people can still learn and be a place of information and allow things like this to happen so that we do bring attention to what's happening in the world now with HIV and AIDS. hit communities of HIV AIDS right now. Um, actually two of our hardest hit communities are kids 13 to 18 in the African American community and this woman here is one of the most impassioned, impassioned people I know and I just love her to death. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bishop S.F. Mahi. The only thing that I want to offer you this evening, my beloved community is that rather than us look at the lives that have transitioned 
due to this struggle as songs that will not be sung anymore in the singers that we have lost or dances that will never be danced again in the dancers we have lost or games that will never be won again in the athletes we have lost or cures that have yet to be found by the healers we have lost. I'm here to remind you this evening that because we remember their names, they shall live and never die. Because we can still sing their songs, they shall live and never die. Because we can still fight their fight, they shall live and never die. And in this atmosphere of change and hope, I declare to you right now tonight on this holy, sacred spot, for any place that we gather is holy and sacred ground, that I have the faith that sees the invisible, expects the incredible, and beats the unbeatable. I have the faith, and I know that we have the faith that can conquer anything, including HIV AIDS. God bless you. God keep you. From Broward House, Mr. Jerry Algozer. I just want to uh, tell you that those of you that are as old as I am remember these early days of candlelight vigils in, in the 80s when we didn't know what was happening and people that we loved and, and we knew were dying and we didn't know why and we didn't know what was going to happen and we stood at the front lines begging people to listen to us and those of us that fundraised as I did had doors shut in their face and people telling us that we didn't, they didn't want to talk to us, but we persevered. And look how far we have come, look how much we know, look how much we've experienced, look how much we realize that HIV is preventable. And those of us that are as old as I am need to get that message out to young people who are being impacted in enormous numbers because they didn't have the experience of those early days like we did. I think it's incredible that we're standing in front of uh, this great community establishment, George's Alibi, in front of the Manchester Room. And those of us that remember John Goodwin, who also we knew as Dana Manchester, knew what a humanitarian and a philanthropist and an activist she was. And she stood for so many people that we knew that stood on the front lines, dropped on the floor when they had to, and did what they have to do to get the government and to get people to listen. There was a gentleman who, called, who I called and asked to come sing. He's star of many stages down here in South Florida and all over the United States. And he said, I'm my mayor, just tell me where to be. Singing for us tonight, Mr. David Muehlman. that every three months I get tested uh, it's just you know the responsible thing to do and you know before I have um, before I like somebody before I go out for a drink uh, before I want to kind of you know be intimate with somebody I make sure that we're both an understanding of course that we're both negative I, I do not um, intend any way to you know spread the virus because it you know there is statistics that say it's it's coming back and there's people aren't being responsible and I think that's that's all I lost my partner in 92 and I've been suffering since and I'm positive also and it's a remembrance to him and his identical twin brother died four months before he did so I dealt with a little tragedy in my life and I always come to World AIDS Day Once again, thank you all for being here. The Manchester Room is open. We we'll hope you'll all come in and speak about your friends. Dana, I love you.
say this is very memorable to me and special because I lost my partner the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, I had the good fortune he was in the hospital for three weeks and then I had him at home and I had him for 10 days and Thanksgiving night I jumped in his little hospital bed and held him in my arms all night and lost him in the morning. But I feel so blessed knowing that there's so much and so much devotion from people with the research for AIDS. I'm sure he's a very special person and he will never be forgotten. No problem. Anything, anyone that you lost? Um, uh, well, like he said, his, his uh, partner was a very good friend of mine also, so we came out for him today. And I also came out today because I'm fighting myself from it, so I'm really out there to support. Thank you guys so much and hope to see you guys next year as well, okay? Another um, World AIDS Day, um, this is again December 1st, 2008, um, here at Wilton Manors in front of Georgia's Alibi, where everybody came with their candlelight vigils and remembered anyone that they've lost or people that are still fighting HIV or AIDS and the people that are helping to find cures for this um, horrible disease. Um, for me, this meant that I'm going to remember always my best friend, Devon T. Tyler, um, from Washington, D.C., that passed away this year. Um, fighting AIDS. Um, I'll never forget him. I'll remember all of the 14 plus years that we've been friends and um, I love him very dearly and miss him a great amount. Tonight.